Get out the parkas. Colder weather is here for the week and we're expecting some rain. We'll have the very latest forecast. These stories and much more. OC News starts right now. And I'm Lauren Esqueda. OC News is brought to you by the Broadcast Journalism students at Cal State Fullerton. I'm here at the Becker Amphitheater at Cal State Fullerton's main campus where they're having their biannual No Stress Fest. No Stress Fest is a day dedicated for students not to stress about their finals. So let's put our dancing shoes on and see what's happening on the dance floor. All in all, many students are satisfied with the outcome of the Oscars. Reporting live from Cal State Fulton, I'm Lauren with OC News. Thanks, Matthew. Today, Bill Cosby is back in Pennsylvania court where his accuser, Andrea Constan, is expecting to take the stand. The testimony began Friday where Constan detailed his alleged sexual assault on her in 2004. Cosby claimed their sex was consensual and has pleaded not guilty to three charges of ag aggravated indecent assault. His first trial on the charges ended last year on a mistrial after a Pennsylvania jury could not come to a unanimous decision. Just one more week, Avengers fans. Avengers Infinity War releases next Monday, April 23rd. The movie breaks the record for highest advanced ticket sales, surpassing Black Panther's record of $165 million for opening weekend. The film will feature all of the original Avengers characters who will be teaming up with the Guardians of the Galaxy to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Coachella Weekend 1 of Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival has officially concluded, but the two-weekend festival isn't over. The weekend, Eminem and Beyonce were a few of the top headliners for the three-day festival. The weekend brought many memorable moments, including a surprise appearances from Kendrick, Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, including a Destiny's Child reunion. That's all for entertainment. Back to you at the desk. I'm here in front of the Nicholas and Lee Begovich Gallery on the visual arts side of the Cal State Fullerton campus, where they are showcasing reclaimed landscapes, the art of Jared Sharzewski. Let's go inside and take a look. Um, essentially, he is commenting, he's talking about sustainability, sustainable efforts, our relationship with consumerism, and the um, resulting in kind of our relationship with things, with stuff. So with clothing, e-wire, and tires, which we've included in the exhibition, he's talking about um, why we use the things we use, how we dispose of them, and what that means for, for us and our relationship to the planet. Uh, my name is Danielle Clark. I am the co-curator of Reclaim Landscapes, the art of Jared Charzewski. Um, myself and my curatorial partner, Jennifer Manassian, we are both MFA students in the Exhibition Design and Museum Studies program. So this exhibition is essentially our senior project that we are completed to complete the program. Um, we uh, uh, have been working with Jared and I've been working with Jennifer on this project for the past two years. Um, we opened about three weeks ago. We'll be closing in two weeks as well. Um, and it's been, um, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. We've had a great reception from students, from faculty. Everyone is really receiving Jared's work really positively. And we all take turns to do our big show, as we call them. Um, as students, we probably put up two to three shows a year. And then in between that and the Begovich Gallery, um, the gallery also features the work of other artists. We have featured the work of artists like Fred Tomaselli, Joel Coleman. Um, a couple years ago, we did a show on Nickelodeon animation. So we get a lot of great artists and a lot of great work coming through. And um, the gallery is really excited to feature Jared's art, artwork as well. This is the first time we've had an installation, a large scale installation of this size in this space in a long time. Um, and it was a monumental effort. We had um, close to 150 students volunteer for this exhibition to, per, to install it. And they contributed almost 500 volunteer hours. 
The exhibit is open Monday through Thursday and Saturdays, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. The last day to see the exhibit is May 17th. I'm Lauren Esqueda with OC News.